Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio, and I am back with the pink signature of the book that was too big. <laughs> Alright, let me put this up a little further. Alrighty, so here's the pink one. Um, this is another one of those double paper clips. I really liked it. This page is very busy. I didn't give it a lot of thought. I just slapped stuff on it because I was so happy to have stuff that I could use and knock down my fodder inventory. All right, so this is another one of those latchy deals from G. Kerr. This is just a piece of material that I had dyed and stamped, and then I cut the material out and glued it on the pocket. This is another one of those little books. They were short pages. I don't have enough stuff in here. I will eventually. And this was a photo from... Oh... A uh, quilling advertisement of some kind, so I just cut it out and glued on there because it was pink. But I will fill in the rest of this later. I'm looking at a few things, but I don't want to fill it up just for the sake of filling it up. Um, this is another one of those little cutesy envelope things where you can do journaling. I never will. Sticker. And these were just little things that came out of a, um, I don't know, a pre-done tag thing. I don't know. It, it was in a, in a fodder package. Ephemera package. Whoa. Sorry. I made this. I made this. I stenciled that. I sew, I sewed this. This is scrapbook paper. I just sewed down the side of it. Made this. Made that. <laughs> All right, so um, I had some solid pink paper, decided to make an envelope. There is nothing in it. And this was a scribble flower that somebody made, and I cut it out and glued it on there because it was cute. This is a vellum envelope where I stenciled on it. The stencil, where did I get the stencil from? Uh, this is not one of my friend's stencils, I don't think. No, okay. I think this was a, was it a TCW or a Tim Holtz. I don't remember. All right, so then and this is another one of these kind of scribbly-looking flowers. This was a stamp. So I took the scribble flower, printed it on a scrap piece of something, because you can tell it was jelly printed on the back. I glued the jelly print on the back so it was, you know, just plain. And then um, I stamped it with a stamp set I have of scribble flowers and then sewed it in the acetate. Popped it in the envelope. Probably should have. Oh, I think I glowed this solid down. Okay. This is just a cute little clock I had. I had a pink tag in a drawer and decided I would use it. This is pink sari ribbon that I won through handmadebook.com. And then this is underneath the paper clip that holds that in place. This was just a really pretty thing that my friend Peg sent to me. So I glued that on there because I just thought it was so cool. This is just a picture out of a magazine, and I did, didn't even put it on any kind of board or anything. I just slipped it in here to fill up, you know, the height of the page. This is a magazine that was sewn and glued over. This is a jelly print that's doubled to make a tab on the top. Um, these are scrapbook paper pockets where I glued all miscellaneous scrap pink scraps on there. I did these master sheets like... I don't know, four years ago, been saving them for something. Then this was a little print that I did not like how it soaked into the paper I used, but I went ahead, sorry about the glare, I went, you can see my ceiling fan, okay. Um, it's just sewn into acetate, and because it was such a short pocket, I had to find something that was small enough to stick in there that wouldn't protrude way out of the top of the book. These are prints from Flickr. When I had a professional mem membership, I dropped it because the price went up. Um, and so I just had this left over from another book that I made, and I went ahead and sewed it in the acetate. Again, same thing for this. This is an orchid plant, and I just took the piece that I had already cut out for another project and sewed it in the acetate, and now it's just a holder. This is from, uh, what kind of paper? This is onion skin, where I printed my... Um, hydrangea flowers on it, and then I individually colored each one on here. 
I had some pink certificates and, and this just stuff to put in the pocket. It's glued on here with the washi tape. I glued it on there and behind there. I don't like it when there's nothing behind the envelope. It's like, well, it's kind of wasted space. So again, it's another one of these little pads where it was leftovers. This is a sticker. I think that's from Wish. I not remember. Then a leftover piece of paper. I sewed around it and mailed it and mailed it, glued it in. <laughs> then it became a pocket or a belly band. You could like not glue the bottom of it and just use it for a belly band. This side is a crayon rubbing, and I glued on the um, the lace. Then I sewed it. This is a die cut. I think it's a Sizzix Tim Holtz die. Sorry, the dogs are in the house. I thought they're outside. This is another one of those iCads that I did a year ago. Or maybe it was this year. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. I should have wrote the years on these things. Just put it in the pocket. That's all that is. There's nothing fancy here. This is a, another one of those um, pieces of paper that I did a master sheet of pink, and then I scanned it so there are no rough edges and there it is instant something I didn't have to glue or do anything to it I did sew the pocket and I put um, magnets underneath it there's washi taped it and this is leftover computer paper how's that and it's just a giant pocket you can put something in it and there's another magnet on this side this page was Basically for the iCAD, there's another iCAD I did. Tissue paper, I did jelly printing on, deli paper. This is a, f a flower off of, oh my word, it was a jelly printed flower from some paper somebody sent to me. So I cut the thing out, stamped the word love on there. These are um, embossed flowers from that flower set that I showed earlier. And then it's just in a random sticker on top of paper that I stenciled on and sewed a pocket. These are a stamp set that I really love. So I stamped them, glued them on some scrap pink cardstock, colored them in, and glued them onto the page. This shindiggy here is, you know, this is so out of my wheelhouse. I am not a lace sew-on sort of person, but I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> I just... I don't know. I think I've lost my mind. Anyway, um, these are, I have die cuts for these. I think they were Sizzix. There's a large and a small. They're, they're the, I think they're the Polaroid die set. And there's two. There's a large and a small. This is the small size. And again, I had random fodder that was left over, put it in between the acetate, gussied it up, glued it shut, and then glued it onto jelly paper that was left over. This is a die cut and I use um, glossy accents on it. Sorry, I had to go check the dogs to make sure there was nothing wrong with them and all that barking. I thought maybe I was getting a delivery. No, the wind shifted. <laughs> Those of you who have dogs, you understand. Okay, so this is another crayon rubbing I did um, on a tile that was really meant to be used as a giant sticker, but I liked it so much I did use it for jelly prints and then I did crayon rubbings on it and made a little envelope. And again, this is another one of those, um, this is the lily. These are the lilies that were used in another, uh, another book. And I had a leftover print, sewed in the acetate. This is a sticker that came off of something that was extra. Again, another iCAD tag. You're going to see a lot of iCAD stuff. I'm trying to use them up. There were 61 of them. Can't fit them all in one book, but I'm trying. <laughs> this was stenciled that my friend Cindy sent to me and I sent back because I borrowed it. Again, this is a random, um, this is a picture of a quilted pillow from a magazine and I liked it so much and it was heart shaped and I was like, oh, that's so cute. Put it in the acetate and I actually glued it on here. Again, that's one of those scribble flower stamps and just put it inside here. Ta-da. This is a, oh, these dogs. This is um, paper. I think somebody else made this. I did not do this. So I took the paper, what I had, and I cut it into two triangles that would fit here. 
sewed around the edges and then glued them in here. And this is just random paper that had pink in it. And this is an, just an orchid picture. Good thing I'm almost done. I'm gonna choke me a dog. <laughs> you know, they can't just lay down and go to sleep. They has caused all kinds of ruckus. Hang on. Quick, <laughs> I've got three pages left. Okay, so this was a stenciled piece of random off-cut paper. I, like I said, I borrowed some stencils from my friend Cindy and I stenciled everything I could and then I mailed them back to her. I missed them already. All right, so this is um, another slide sort of thing that I had the, um, I don't know, where are they? I got them in a, in a packet. Here they are, they're, are they cardboard? I don't know what they are, but they were some kind of random thing. And I have a bag full of them, and I decided I'm going to use these things and get rid of them. Not that I don't like them, but I can't. I have too many. <gasps> Said no crafter ever. So then I took these die cuts. I did a whole bunch of die cuts, and I used the, the, the glossy accents on them. And I put them in a folder, and then when I'm ready to use them, they're there. So some of them, I just cut the bottom part off and then just use the head of the flower and glue that onto brown paper, uh, collaged leftover little teeny scraps around these, then put a bow up there and made it look like it's a wall hanging. All right, these were made from a stencil from my friend Carla at What If NC. It's the little teeny hearts, they're so cute. Then I made them into pockets and here is a better look at these little teeny things were snipped off of this one right here. So I had to use them some way. So I glued this on there and then took some uh, washi tape and stuck it on there and called it a day. And this is Sorry Ribbon that I won. And I did use a um, eyelet for it. I don't think it made any difference. Well, I guess it did because I always rip these. When I try to pull these too hard, I always rip the top off. So this time I got smarter and put the eyelid in there thinking it would keep me from ripping it. No. <laughs> so there it is. And then again, this one I did, I bought, um, well, let me show you what it is. I bought one of these doodads that's the, tw I think this is 12. Yeah, 12. And it's like a giant librarian <laughs> stamper has the whole alphabet and symbols and numbers. So I played around with it and I did it on, you know, just brown scrap paper. And I just did the word flower and I actually got the little stinker to line up. Miracle of all miracles. This was cut out of a scrap from a uh, flicker. And I went ahead and put them in there together, put the little brown paper in, sewed it in the acetate and ta-da, it's in the bag. This is a sticker. See, still got the souk wang on the back. This is a hydrangea from that paper, that uh, onion skin paper that I photocopied and then colored them all in. That's from there. And then there's the back. I have no explanation for this back part whatsoever. <laughs> we're just going to pretend like we didn't see that. Okay, we're done. <laughs> all right, guys, so the, here is the pink signature. I hope you enjoyed it despite the dogs. Um, next will be the purples. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.